Coin traders, what is going on? Thanks for joining me for the show. Want to look at Celestia TIA on the ticker? Do a quick little update, just a quick little brief talk discussion about kind of the current setup right here because it's a very, very nice setup and confirmation of the pattern that we had talked about in the video from a few days ago. So just want to kind of do a, a brief update and analysis on Celestia Tia here because on the current daily candle, and we are still waiting for a print and a close in about five hours as of time of recording, but over the last three days, sell off and obviously a taper off, taper off in volume, confirming and back testing the support that we found on these exponential moving averages. So like we talked about in the previous video, huge, nice upside with huge increasing bullish volume. Very good, especially with tapering off and decreasing selling volume, especially when we look at the peak volume that we found on this nice, massive bullish candle. Very good sign, especially when we look at this peak bearish volume candle, especially tapering off from there. So now to get our back test and our confirmation right off this 50 period exponential moving average is extremely good sign, especially after three days of pullback that didn't even take out the full size of the magnitude of this nice bullish candle. So a lot of good things that we're looking at right now. And obviously tomorrow, if we can get a follow on and fall through from the bulls, that would be the best case scenario as well to look at topping out some of these previous highs where we got stuck up at for this resistance for Celestia TIA right now. Now, in terms of upside resistance on top of that, going to look at several levels of resistance, and we do have a lot up overhead. So specifically, we're going to be looking at a few, most notably 1170 here, right up to about the $12 line and just over 12 at 1204. So extremely relevant technical targets, as you can see, it's where we got stuck up on the current move. So do have to test that looking left, big points of resistance, looking farther left, big points of support as well. So we know very strong technical levels coming in right around the $12 mark for Celestia. But especially zooming out, if you can see, since we have been forming a huge resistance on this big exponential moving average resistance zone and confirming all these exponential moving averages as resistance, the fact that we've now seen a lot of bullish action on top of these exponential moving averages and maintained and confirmed along with a back test of that level, extremely good and strong. So we know extremely strong resistances now proving to be very supportive, especially after that confirmation and that back test right now on that level. So this is exactly what we want to see, especially after changing the trend here. So set our low and our low of the close, set our high, higher low, now higher high, pulled back, back tested. And right now we're going to be looking for a full bullish cross on these exponential moving averages where we do have already had the nice bullish cross from the 12 on top of the 26. Now going to be looking for 20, excuse me, 12 on top of the 50. And then also the 26 on top of the 50 as well coming in the next week or so. Now, unfortunately, a lot of the risk of the crypto space is kind of looking a little bit more stagnant and bearish. So hopefully that doesn't impact what we see out of Celestia, because the last thing we would want in this instance is a very, very nice setup like what we're currently seeing right now. And then an immediate rejection and losing this big level. So that's definitely not what we want to see. And this is extremely nice setup, especially because we can go down in the charts. For example, looking at the 12 period, or excuse me, the 12 hour chart. Very nice confirmation as well, especially after getting this nice bullish cross information back testing the 12 period EMA. Along with that, we can even go down as far as the four hour chart, for example, still looking at a very nice test. And you can even see in this instance, a lot more detail of tapering off selling pressure on this formation, having a very nice pullback and flag type pattern on this pullback and setting a very, very nice breakout on the current candle. And especially after printing the previous four hour candle. So about an hour from printing this current four hour candle, and then from there, we will be on our way as well, especially with a little bit more of that confirmation and follow through. But right now, overall, extremely, extremely good scenarios on this chart. And the thing that we need to look at, too, is that on the two day and greater, we're still going to be looking up overhead at some resistance points. So despite having a daily chart and shorter time frames that do look extremely bullish, we do know that up overhead, we are still getting stuck up at this 50 period EMA on this two day chart. So that's going to be a big point of resistance. So right now on the current candle, looking at 1130. So that is going to still be if in within the range of that resistance point all the way up to the $12 1204 mark like we were talking about. So we know extremely strong resistance zone up overhead. And that's why right now we do need to see a lot more of that follow through because current levels are going to be extremely resistive. But if we can't overcome that, then that's pretty much going to be a surefire sign to let us know that once we actually back test and confirm the $12 level of support, should see a very nice upside and be able to test the current all time high right now, especially if we do get a lot more positive momentum and feedback and sentiment from the rest of the crypto space coming forward. 
Switching over to the weekly really quick before we wrap up, like we said, very nice to see an establishment of support, little minimal selling pressure, and now week over week increasing bullish volume, especially on this nice to, to see magnitude for this current weekly candle body. So if we look at the previous weekly candles, you can just see how small the magnitude of the bodies for this candle is, especially with a decrease in sell pressure. Very good sign, especially now. If we can hold over the next day and a few hours until we close tomorrow, very good sign. But obviously, you can see up overhead still getting stuck up at the 12 and 26 moving averages, exponential moving averages for this weekly chart and not even at 50 on this exponential moving average chart yet for this weekly, just because it is still such a new project and the chart isn't that old yet to be forming that. But so nonetheless, you can still see big points of resistance up overhead and 26 is forming at 1186. So a lot of strong resistance points up to the $12 level. So hopefully, despite the shorter term charts looking extremely good, hopefully we can see a continuation of that movement and not get stuck up at these resistance. So hopefully we can see a lot more continuation and the rest of the crypto space cooperates but otherwise that is going to be the struggle point. So if we can see closes on top of the $12 to $12.05 level, that's going to be one of our big sure signs as long as we can maintain that, that we are going to be trending back to the upside and looking for higher highs. And the favor is going to be in the bulls direction here. So yeah, I just kind of wanted to do a quick little update. Let me know in the comment sections below how you like these type of shorter format videos with a little bit more of the direct updates on the current setting and pattern. And uh, yeah, definitely let me know in the comment sections below. Also, questions, comments, issues, disagreements, all that fun stuff. And feel free to always reach out on Twitter or X as well. At coin underscore trades is the handle over there. Looking forward to chatting. But uh, yeah, that is going to go ahead and wrap up this quick little update on Celestia TIA on that ticker. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, please hit the thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And as always, do appreciate all the continuous love and support. It does mean so much. That is it for now, though. So stay safe, take care, coin traders, and I'll catch you back in the next video.